Hi, my name is Rupert Patel, Chairman and Founder of My Tokenized Capital, the first tokenized stand in the world. But let's talk about how it came about. It came about through COVID. During the pandemic time, everyone was on lockdown. So Zoom became a kind of like household name. I've been doing internet-based calling since the 1990s. We did the world's first internet-based remote Java One conferences and lots of things like this. So based on that, I have with me a very good friend of mine, my Mohammed Salim, who has a fantastic virtual conference and exhibition platform called VMeets. And I'd love Mohammed to give us some insights how it's developed uh, over the last year. I think I've been following yes, it. Yes, yes. So how it's developed over the last uh, year and how you see this market even growing because I mean, I see it always. Yeah. So thanks for giving me this opportunity here on this uh, to have a chat with you. Yeah, it's been a wonderful journey for last one year since the pandemic hit, as you said, you know, uh, Zoom calls, the WebEx, everything, uh, you know, is coming to place and uh, a lot of the event organizers or companies that are doing events uh, were looking for, you know, how they would, you know, convert their uh, businesses from physical to virtual because physical events were impossible to host, right? So that is when uh, we, we put together a team uh, at vMeets, we, co we founded uh, the virtual events platform uh, from the event organizer's point of view because I come from the events uh, industry with 16 years of experience. So we put together everything in a software uh, that would give you an experience of a real uh, physical event virtually. So we put all aspects of a physical event like a lobby, the exhibition rooms, the conference areas, the networking rooms, the meeting tables, everything into the virtual platform. So we launched uh, WeMeets in July 2020. Uh, with the plus version and now uh, a month ago we've already launched the WeMeets Pro version which is fully interactive 3D which gives a good experience even uh, for the people that are logging in to give them an experience like they are at a physical mm. event, right? Yeah, the so, 3D is the yeah. interesting side for me because when we first started I remember the 2D thing was still good and we talked about 3D physically feeling like you there at the, the entrance hall, there's talking to the uh, all the stands, all the sponsors, and then going into the the speakers area and seeing it like that, it's absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, it, Can it's, you see it going to the virtual world using NFT as an example into a metaverse scenario? Because I have absolutely been talking about that's the way people will see it, with a, a real feeling like you are at the event. Yeah, that's how I think uh, I see the world evolving. So right from 2D to interactive 3D to complete AR, AR VR experience. VR, you know, that is what we're building and uh, that is what we're gonna do. Because as you see already here, you know, the physical events are coming back. Uh, you see a lot of people that were waiting for a physical event to happen are, have all flooded here, right? You see the crowd. So, yes. but well, what's gonna happen down. is, uh, as we move, uh, all the event organizers will move to a hybrid events, right? Yes. So that is when uh, even virtual events platform will become uh, you know, absolutely necessary for absolutely. every organizer to be there. So even people who cannot attend physically yes. also can be there virtually. So their networking yeah. becomes yeah. more uh, impactful. The people around the world can network with the people physically here on site. So that is what we are building, you know. So I see at least next two years, it will take for the full-fledged physical events to come back. Even when it comes back, it will all be hybrid and people will be so used to uh, virtual platforms, so they would want to, you know, join uh, these uh, bigger uh, events where they cannot travel or they don't have the time at the comfort of their home or offices, uh, and still be able to network with people around the world and do business. Yeah, no, I, so. mean, I have a lot of respect for some of you, your team and everyone who's helped with that platform, and uh, definitely I see that whole thing going, um, you know, to that. AR, VR, VR first, then AR experience, be it live or online. Yeah. It's got to converge. Uh, as I said, you know, when we did that Java One thing in the 90s or early 2000, I can't remember. You know, people all around the world with 10,000 people in those days, it was heavy on the network. Now, bandwidth is cheap, technology is available, cost a lot these days. Now you can do it with a mobile phone. So 
yeah, so absolutely this, executed. Yeah, this is what we, it's not only like one thing we have seen is like we have now onboarded clients like Abu Dhabi Municipality, Fantastic. right, which is one of the government, uh, you know, entities in UAE. So where they're using the uh, WeMeets platform uh, on their government portal, right? So yeah. taking the concept of the virtual platform, they have made their platform. So we have completely done their uh, <laughs> government portal on WeMeets. So similarly, we have uh, onboarded clients like Messe Frankfurt, Rescon, uh, Al Circle, some of the big names, event organizers who are already using, you know, the WeMeets platform. And we keep we keep innovating. We'll come up with so hopefully new one products. billion by yeah. the end of the year. Inshallah, you know, this is what uh, uh, we're going very aggressive. So we've got some good traction. Love so see you get we're launching new products. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank sure. you, Mohammed. Thank, Thank you so you much. And wish you all the best. Thank you so much.